Hello. I I am recording this for two with two purposes. One is to do an experiment about looking bad. And the other is to share the gold about the process that I had today with Martin. And so I'm I'm going ahead from the notes that he took. It, the process began with just, I had, I had wanted a process and I didn't, I had a huge list of, of doorways and my gremlin was using my parent ego state to beat me up about how I haven't done enough processes lately and and so I, I simply asked for a process and it started when when Martin asked what he could do for me. I, for the first time in, in a process space, I just had this massive sadness and with some joy come up that I, I felt so sad because I, I was so touched that he was asking me what he could do for me and I was so sad about it because it was as if it was as if I'd never had someone hold space for me before and I I have I've had literally hundreds of spaces held for me since I first started using possibility management and coming to Clinton's study group and putting up my hand and asking for someone to hold space and and letting myself go liquid and this this took me back to this experience I had as a little girl in school when uh, a schoolmate, an older schoolmate from a classroom next door who had a brother in, in my class burst through the door between the two classrooms and was, was obviously being taunted and attacked by like his gremlin classmates, his classmates gremlins and my teacher and the other students and the brother of this this boy and the two of them who I felt such a such a affinity with them that I had been hiding and pretending about and all all of these decisions about pretending uh, pretending not to be like the people I was like um, to hide what I could see and to pretend not to care that th this was happening. And, and these layers underneath where I was just so desperate for this friend and his brother and myself to have held spaces and this resentment that I had um, in the relational spaces with the teachers and the staff, including my mother, who were who who worked at the school, uh, that they weren't providing these spaces, and they weren't doing like I had a whole list of things that the that people, the grown ups weren't doing, uh, that that was my evidence that 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 um, my my vengeance on them was justified. And I, yeah, Martin navigated with me so that I could then, I spoke with two different teachers in the space, one who was really the one who I had the most resentment toward. And the other was, was this magician teacher who had been able on like several brief but important occasions been able to hold space for me and deliver, deliver for me in a way that kept something in me uh, growing or, or from becoming further uh, tucked away. And, and then it, I discovered that I had this whole energetic, like it was in this energetic space where these these masses of people who in my life 
in my life as a child and as a teenager had you know, failed to hold space for me and how the how I how through this these stories I keep telling about these people in the past that I bring this into the present so that there were it's if there was this green screen of like in a way it was like garlic uh giant garlic plants were these these green bars of a cage that were this too high for me to see past field and and the and the bulbs of the onions or garlic were were on the floor like under my feet and and this was keeping me from going over the edge into the world where the actual world was where i could fly in the world and i I used my anger and discovered this gesture of, of pulling these garlic onion bulbs that were that energetically were these teachers and parents and from and this fear that if I pulled this them out there that the that the ground under my feet would just disappear, it would it would fall through. And so this anger pulling and this fear rising about, oh my god, I'm about to fall through into nothing and I I'm I felt so scared and and yet as I as I kept pulling them out and kept screaming the fear I discovered that I was I was on the ground I was on the earth I was in the world where I had always been wanting to be but yet having the experience of believing that I wasn't and my feet on the floor, my physical feet on the floor of the, of the process space room, like we're, we're feeling the, the earth under my feet and this, and this sense of being out of this, this prison, out of this prison that had created like a screen so that when I was relating to someone who I wanted to hold space for me, I already was in this resentment about how they weren't doing it. And, and yeah, when the, after the process, I had some water and I, Martin gave me the possibility to go outside in my bare feet and to, and to feel the, the ground under my feet and I went out and I, you know, I've, I've lived here at the Possibility Coaching Bridge House in Czechia for over a month. And I, I had not taken 10 steps before I started noticing things I'd never seen before out in the yard here. And I walked around past the buildings, seeing things that are so fucking obvious, were so fucking obvious to me in this liquid state after this process, I, I can, I, I can, I'm so embarrassed that I didn't see them. And yet, it makes sense that I didn't see them. Because I had this, I had this stuff from the past in my energetic space, just blocking me from actually seeing the world I actually live in. I feel so glad to have had this particular process, all the processes before it that built my matrix so that I could have this process. So grateful to the, yeah, the, the team of possibilitators globally, the trainers, the trainer trainers, the books, the websites, the, the spaces that are, are part of my world. This is my world. I get to live in Possibilica in the making and on, on planet Earth with Gaia as someone on Team Gaia who's bringing this, these distinctions, tools, maps, processes through to create spaces with others where transformation is possible and where all kinds of possibilities come alive. And I couldn't see because I have a box, They're not my box. Neither are you, and neither are they. Thank you for watching.
Bye for now.